Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Dad Life. Today we're going to be doing another shoe review. This is for another pair of Grant Stone shoes. So again, we have our beautiful, plain Grant Stone box. Yeah, although it's plain, it is high quality. It's a good quality box. Uh, this one is another plain toe. I've decided to branch out a little bit. I am a wingtip guy. I love wingtips, and I'll show you more of that as we move along in our dad life journey. But I've decided to get more plain toes. These are a nice, a little more casual shoe. Um, not so much flare on them, but uh, I, I really like plain toes. I'm growing a love for them, let's put it that way. Again, it's the Leo Last. Uh, similar to uh, like a 97 last from Allen Edmonds. These are gonna be navy in their size 12 E. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what we get inside. Take it off. Again, we get another thank you card here signed by some member of their staff. Uh, the last one we got was signed by Wyatt, who's the owner. Uh, he seems like a good guy. Maybe we'll be able to get him on the channel sometime. We have a picture here of a pair of their long wings. A pair of their long wings are on my uh, on my radar. I'd like to get a pair going forward. And uh, kind of talks a little bit more about uh, how to fit the shoe. Make sure it fits right and uh, make sure that, uh, that you're buying the proper size. Obviously, Grant Stone shoes, they're not sold in stores. They're just sold at grantstone.com. So that's where you'll check them out. They do have help on there that'll help guide you to buy the right shoe size. If it doesn't fit, you can swap it out. So be sure to read that information in there. Let's go ahead and open it up again. Again, I really like their paper. It just kind of has this old timey feel to it with the shoe, the shoelaces, got some uh, lasts on there, those, those other items. Shoes again are separated. So we'll pull the shoe out. We got our nice brown shoe bags on our nice brown tablecloth. The shoe here and this little bag here. So let's set this off to the side. Again, I love their shoe bags. Their shoe bags are great. They're roomy and they include two. Somebody tell Alan Edmonds, right? You need two shoe bags, one for each shoe. You don't want the shoes clicking together. You don't want them scuffing each other in a box. So again, we have this little bag here. It's gonna come with an extra set of shoelaces. These are navy, by the way. And it's gonna come with a Grant Stone portable shoehorn and bottle opener. I really like this. I like that they include these extras. Extra pair of shoelaces is always nice. I like this unique item. These are the type of things they used to have back in the old days with Florsham and some of these other American-made brands. I like it. This is the kind of stuff that becomes collectible over time. And look, it's metal. I can keep it in my desk drawer at the office, and I don't have to use business cards to help put my shoes on if I take my shoes off at the office. We'll go ahead and set this here, shoelaces and that. Now, let's take a look at this pair of shoes. And here we go. Open it up. Look at these. Look at these bad boys. These are their plain toes. They're navy blue. They're probably going to look kind of black on the uh, on the camera. Uh, it is getting kind of dark out here. Um, already looking like we're seeing a couple issues here. We got, uh, got a little mark there. And it looks like we got a little little mark in the leather here. You know. This is Chromexel leather from Horween is what they say. So I'm going to give it a break. Chromexel leather is designed as like a pull-up leather. So as you move it and pull it, the oils and, and fats in the leather dissipate and make different colors. I'm thinking these are going to get a nice uh, patina on them as they go. I like the natural edge here. You got the storm welt coming up on the side. You have a contrasting color of stitching here. I really like that. And then on the bottom, you have a studded rubber shoe base, similar to a Danite or a Vibram Eaton. Uh, I like that. This is the proprietary Grant Stone version. It is a Goodyear welted shoe. You can see the stitching going through the rubber sole. Rubber soles I like, especially in my life. Uh, I'm not always on uh, padded carpets or 
a nice even concrete. A lot of times I'm walking on rocks or some other weird things out by my office. And so I like that there is a, uh, a rubber base. And I'm hoping these stand up well. I love day-night soles. They are fantastic. And so I'm hoping these stand up too. Again, you have the, uh, you have the calf leather lining on the inside and it says Grant Stone on the inside of these shoes as well. So I think what we're gonna do real quick is give these a, a little bit of love. So we're gonna undo the shoelaces. They do look a little dusty. These two were a clearance item. So we got them at a discounted price. They look like they've been sitting around for a minute. Because of their discounted price, I'm not going to be too concerned about a couple of the issues I've seen on the leather itself. Like this little, this is just like a bend in the leather. I don't even know if you can see that right now. Um, it looks like a, looks like it's almost a scar. This one right here looks like a bump on the leather of some kind. Again, because of its price, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, although, I tell them keep an eye on it. But again, they're doing a good job, I think. This is uh, Horween Leather out of Chicago. They send it to their factory in China to be made. I think for a shoe being manufactured in China in an American manner, I think they're doing a good job. Uh, obviously, we'll do an update on the shoe maybe in three, four months. But what you want to do is you want to brush this. Open it up, get some of that. You can see there's dust. It's been setting for a minute, or maybe it's factory dust, who knows. I should put a pair of shoe trees in here, and I will when we're finished with the video. Get in there. When you're buying shoes, higher end shoes, you want to make sure that your getting the products that you need to manage them. Good shoe brush, brush off debris. And in this case, it's a Chromexel leather. So I'm gonna recommend the Saphir oiled leather uh, cream. This stuff is great and it smells like almonds. It smells like almond oil, it smells sweet. So we're gonna put a little on the leather. You always wanna nourish and brush your shoes prior to the first wear. Whether it's Grant Stone, whether it's Allen Edmonds, whether it's Alden, you don't know how long that shoe has been sitting. Could be a year old, could be a month old, could be multiple years old. Some of those Allen Edmonds seconds, I think at the shoe bank, might have been uh, jostling around the system for quite a few years. You buy some of those seconds and you know they look a little rough. So we're just gonna, you wanna nourish your shoes. Rub that cream in. And I can see the shoe soaking it up. The shoe's starting to look shiny, it's not looking dull. So we're gonna rub that in, make sure you get it on the tongue. Make sure you get in all the creases. Again, these shoes, like the other Grant Stones, they have the calf, leather lining, glove leather, nice and soft. They've got the cork underneath the footbed. They've got a steel shank in there to provide support, which is good, you know, I'm not a small guy. I appreciate a good steel shanked shoe. Alden does that. Allen Edmonds does not do a steel shank. They do like a wood one, it almost looks like bamboo, but it's just a wood one, but they hold up. Hold up, as long as you don't beat your stuff up. And look, I'm a grown man. I'm not gonna be jumping on trampolines or acting a fool. Should last. But I like the idea of a steel one. We're just rubbing this Saphir oiled leather cream into these shoes. It's gonna suck it all up. They're looking nice, they're looking shiny. 
put a pair of shoe trees in here and you can put the shoelaces back in. I actually think, because these are more casual shoe, you got the navy uh, blue, you got the, the eyelets here, the metal eyelets, and you have the natural edge. It gives it a little bit of a uh, more casual look. I might put a contrasting shoelace in. They have these navy blue shoelaces that go with the shoe. I might actually do something like a white or I might do like a pink, uh, depending on the uh, time of year. Uh, might do a bone colored one. But uh, let me just put a little bit more. So then what you do, once you put this in, you just let it sit. Let, the, let that oil soak it up. Or let the uh, shoe soak it up, soak up all this oil. And then you wanna give it a good brush. We're running out of light here right now. I do like to film outside. It's nice. Usually it's quiet. Anyways, again, this is a pair of Grant Stones. These are Chrome Mexel uh, leather by Horween. Their shoes are American designed, uh, but they're manufactured in their Chinese factory. I think they're doing a good job. These aren't like your standard Chinese glued together junk shoes. They're done in smaller batches and the quality control I believe is there. Uh, when it's not, they let you know. They sell it as a B grade shoe. So I think if you haven't already, check them out, Grant, grantstone.com. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with their different styles of shoes. And I think it's some. this is a brand that you can get behind. It's a brand I would rec I'd personally recommend. So again, thanks for uh, joining us on this episode of The Dad Life. Uh, if you haven't already, like our channel, subscribe to it, hit the bell so you get notifications. I want to thank my camera girl, Sophie, for uh, running the camera tonight. If you think she's doing a good job, let her know. If there's anything you want to see from us, any type of DIY projects, home improvement, uh, product uh, testing, or whatever, let us know. We're at The Dad Life. We're here about having fun, and we want to take you along for the journey. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.